flash based using uh, all the new techniques for stage, uh, stage 3D alchemy, um, shadows, uh, shadows and lighting technique that are used in AAA games. Mm -hmm. um, even the concept art are done with Adobe products with uh, Photoshop. Yeah, physics, that's using beautiful. bullet physics that's uh, used in AAA games. It's an open source yep. uh, program that um, library that we can use using Alchemy now. Uh, we're going to have uh, pathfinding that's also uh, using uh, Raycast and Detour, which is also used in AAA games. That's amazing. Uh, Did you say, is Alchemy your own or was that a third no, party? Alchemy I missed. is Adobe's, uh, it's a ah. beta right now, but they, they announced that they will make it a, a, an actual production product. Um, That's far one went to the Starling. Is that the no, the no, no, the no. It takes C plus plus code, mm -hmm. and it um, it pretty much builds it in Flash. So it, it runs, it compiles C plus plus code in uh, action script. If you had to compare it to um, maybe a downloadable console game or another game on the like web that's out there, Diablo two or a wow. torchlight dish. Yep, uh, torchlight I've seen. Yep. Yep. Uh, so obviously MMO, so customize your character. You can see the changes. Other people will be able to see the changes that you're doing to your character. Do we know when this will be published? or It should be published in the next week or two. We're giving a talk at the GDC Online as mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. uh, the same talk that we uh, gave at Max. Yep. So we'll present it as well. So basically... And we'll have a free-to-play front-end, or how, will you, how are you monetizing? This is a prototype. Okay. This is really a tech demo to show off ice fields, okay. show off that we can do this. Yep. And also, internally, it's to, to allow us to test our own engine in a real production. Wow. Uh, we started that with Zombie Tycoon. Mm -hmm. uh, we really wanted to make sure that before our production teams would have access to the engines, mm -hmm. it would be proven that it works. Yeah. Um, well, it looks, certainly looks beautiful. So, yeah, the environment is pretty rich. Um, now, this is obviously a laptop hardware, so yeah, it's not uh, as good as uh, on, a, on a normal PC. Well, there's still lots of people with laptops, so that's not a bad thing to say. Well, no, exactly. And then we have a low um, a low res mode, which I'm not using because I want to show the full res. But yep. yeah. the concept of the game <laughs> but yeah but what's important here is that the frame rate on the top bottom that you see I don't actually know what I'm doing but I guess I'm doing good And what's great is I, I gave the API to Starling Framework when he was in bed as a developer. And uh, actually, no, he got access when he was just released. And, uh, it took him two days to port the game. It was actually on, on the App Store and Android Market and Blackberry. Um, it doesn't support mobile yet because it's going to be released uh, in the near future. But on desktop, it took him two days to. What you're looking at is yeah, it's called quality graphics in the sense of like, oh, these the game like Mario Galaxy that you've been playing on the Wii. And it's running at 60 frames a second, like little impact your CPU. And TiVo is not very good at the game yet, but we've got a higher score. <laughs> <laughs>